welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I am working on my hashtag Artpocalypse 2020 <laughs> book. This is, uh, what day am I on? 28, because that's 28, 29, and 30. And it's, let's see, what time is it? It's almost midnight <laughs> on the 30th. I wanted to get this out on the 31st, so yeah, I'm doing the voiceover way late. Um, so this day the prompt was letter so I I will creating a, an envelope and then f this isn't really a letter more like a recipe um, I took this is a really old piece of paper from that compass really old composition book and figured I'd use my dip pen make it look more you know uh, witchy, <laughs> magical, motion, uh, magic potion-y. <laughs> so I'm going to read you the recipe here. It's Sohia's recipe for resist. It says, in your mortar and pestle mix kimuni, vulgaris, and torstal root. The resulting potion will help you resist magic attacks. This is a powerful witch's potion, so be careful when you try it, as you may find yourself turned into something unpleasant if you don't do it correctly. <laughs> I thought that was cute. And yeah, those aren't real, as far as I know, those aren't real ingredients. Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> Anyways, I figured I needed to fill up the page, so I'm just doodling around the edges things like the mortar and pestle and some plants and some sort of horn thing um, like you would put in a magic potion and then I ran out of things so I'm just making doodles <laughs> just filling it up there we go a few rune marks I guess Like I said, I'm just doodling on here. And then I decide I can do some of that intuitive scripting sort of stuff along the edges just to fill that up. And yeah, let it splatter because that makes it look more... Um, I don't know, old. <laughs> all right so I have this crazy paper that I got on clearance at Michael's a long time ago and figured I would make the envelope out of that so um, it will be kind of interestingly shaped I mean, it'll be shaped right but the edges will be weird and I'm pulling out my punch board Reading the envelope from my letter. My envelope to hold my magic potion. I don't like the part poking out, so I always trim that off. Put a glue with my glitter glue on there and hopefully I don't glue it flat to the back of the envelope. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out some distress ink and make it look old. Just go over the top of it too, just to 
brown it all up. Now I decided I want to stain my letter so I'm putting some of that down and getting it wet and then we're just going to dip this in. I crinkled it. As I crinkled it, it just tore. It's so, um, the paper is so old. Um, but I don't know. I think it makes it look even older. And it did make the ink bleed. I hadn't waited for it to dry all the way. I don't know if it was water soluble ink. Um, but that just, I don't know. It actually reminds me of an old recipe. Uh, my mom had an old recipe book and there was a couple of recipes that were so well used um, had been spilled on and stained on. It's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> and it's no longer in the book. It's in a little folder. We still have the recipes. Alright, so I'm going to fold this up. Stick it in my envelope. decided I needed to um, distress all the creases too to make them look older. There we go. Alright, so it's just going to go on that small flap that I added to my book so I'd have enough pages. Oh, and uh, let's see if I can tell you what that says. Do you know the magic secret won't be found inside the envelope? <laughs> and then I just put a couple of Viking runes on there. I don't remember what they all mean. Just picked a few random ones that would be easy to write. And again, gluing it down with the glossy accent. Glossy Accents Glitter Glue. And I end up putting a little piece of washi on there to hold my envelope shut. And there's a little picture. Voila. Okay. Next one. We're on to today, right? 30th. And the prompt was time. And I have this tissue paper that I wanted to use, and I thought it would look good if I put some yellow, and that's neon yellow, behind it. Um, so I put the yellow down, now I'm putting the matte medium down, and then gluing the tissue down. And I don't like it. And maybe it's because I'm not a super fan of yellow. I mean, I like all colors. But I just was not liking that for some reason. So, um, I take some buff, I think it's Titan Buff, and put that over the top. Sorry, it cut off. So you can still see it a little bit, but um, yeah, I toned it down some. Now we're going to make a clock, because the prompt was time, and that's what the circle is going to be. And then I just decided to put blue around it, and then I like the blue so well, okay, so blue is my favorite color, that I just decided I would do a wash all the way around, and where the yellow is, it's a little bit of green color. And I like that. I like that a lot better than the yellow. And I decided my clock was going to be like coming off of the surface. So each letter gets incrementally larger as I go around. And in fact, they get so big that you can't see them anymore. So that's the idea. And then I figured I'd put the last number really big at the 12 o'clock. Then I just went around them with the fine point micron just to make them sharper. 
hoping that would help them stand out a little bit. And I know that five's down there. It's it's not the whole five anyway, so you're not missing much by that being cut off at the bottom. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Someday, eventually, I might actually get, you know, a real table and, you know, set up. my boo-boos and just put a little ink around the edge trying to get it to stand out a little bit more and highlighting the letters I decided I felt like it needed more so I grabbed this washi tape that's a bunch of clock faces and just ran it along the edge and then of course I decided it needs to be grungier, so I'm just actually, um, I got a little stabilo, you can't see it, I'm a little off screen, but just using that to add a little grunge. And then after it dries, I do this, this is actually my glitter um, paint. It's Folk Arts Holographic Glitter paint is what it is and when I'm done I'll take a picture at an angle so you can see it better but I, I've been putting it on every page <laughs> all right and the quote I added to this page is there are magical moments in every day we just have to take time to see them see how I got that time in there yeah and magic <laughs> well, I hope you guys have been enjoying these, the Art Apocalypse prompts for this year, for October. Um, I've really had fun making these. Um, it was fun to make it like magical and follow the prompts. That made it more of a challenge. See, there's the glitter. All right. Last page, guys. So this one is for the 31st, and of course, I did it early um, so that I could have it done on the 31st. Now this is a piece of acrylic skin. It was left over from another project another day, and I just peeled it off, and it kind of looked like flames. I liked it. So I saved it. I just barely there, you saw me trim off kind of lumpy areas that wouldn't be very smooth um, so we're gonna use it somehow in this page and of course pulling out my favorite color blue and then red and I have that little viney looking thing that I am forcing myself I was trying to think of the word I'm forcing myself to use it I cut it out if you've been watching these videos you probably saw me cut that out for a previous page and not use it and so I've been saving it inside my little booklet to use it so it's the last day it's got to go on there <laughs> oh what was the prompt oh the prompt was red <laughs> so hence all the red paint Alright, so I have all these findings that I got when um, Robert's Craft in Utah went out of business. Um, they had lots of stuff on sale, and I bought all these, and I've never done anything with them. So, finally going to use one, and I'm trying to make marks on this acrylic skin so that I can cut it out in a circle. It was very difficult. I 
But let me know in the comments below if you've liked these videos. I am going to do just a flip through um, maybe on Sunday or Monday. Um, we're having a sort of Halloween party with COVID. We're going to be outside. We'll see how long we can stand it in the cold. <laughs> so I'll be a little busy tomorrow. Or you're seeing it today. I'll be busy today. <laughs> Technically, what time is it? It's, it's today. Alright, so I'm just gluing it in with um, the glitter glue. Need to buy me another bottle of that. I've loved it so much, I just keep using it. <laughs> and you see me. I pull a paper towel out of the garbage sack over there. Yeah, that's unsightly. I try. I usually try to make sure you can't see my garbage. Sorry about that. And sorry if I go down too far down screen. A very, very bad habit of mine. And so here I'm just adding some gloss medium just to shine up the top and hopefully make it look cool. I, it doesn't get very smooth though. Probably needed to use a different paintbrush to make it smooth. But at least it'll be nice and shiny. <laughs> so there it is. And I just had this scrap piece of ribbon so I'm gonna put a little ribbon on there. Trim that off. Alright, so I decided, I found a quote, and it takes up most of the page, and it gets cut off a little bit here. I don't think you, I, you see me write at all. I'm going to read it to you. And above all, watch with glittering eyes the whole world around you, because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And that was Rod Dahl. Road? Ruled? Anyway. I thought that was good. And it was a kind of a good conclusion to my magical book. Even though that page is kind of near the middle. <laughs> and I stick that on and decide I need to um, write over the top of it on some of those letters so that the words make sense. Well, if you have liked this, leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you're not already a subscriber, think about subscribing. I'm getting really close to 4,000. Excited for that. It's been a slow journey upwards, but um, it sure has been fun. And I hope it will still be fun in the future. Well, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful Halloween.